Unibrow, Unibro. I'll just go with whatever Google Translate tells me. It's probably wrong anyway. Unibro. In the months we've been doing this show, I'm kind of surprised we haven't done a Canadian beer yet. This week's offering comes from Unibro of Chambly, Quebec. And this is La Fin du Monde. La Fin du Monde is a light, cloudy, refreshing, Belgian-style triple ale. The pour I couldn't get right to save my life because of the thick, foamy head of a triple. It's, it's just more than my weak pouring skills could handle. My first impressions of it were that it was more like a dry white wine than a beer, and this is kind of consistent with the style of a Belgian triple. Now, if you're not familiar with a Belgian triple, let me enlighten you. What they do is they use triple the malts in the brewing process, and then they offset that with candy sugar. Now, it's technically a pale ale, but unlike pale ales that you'll find here in the States, brewed in the States, it's not a hop bomb. It's not a generic American pale ale or anything of that nature. This is just good, clean fun here. The aftertaste, once again, is more like white wine, and it's kind of an enjoyable experience. It's, it's almost like you're not drinking a beer, yet it sort of reminds you every now and then with that heavy malt body that's been tempered that it's still a beer. It's refreshing, uh, like wine can't be. I give this beer four stars, and I had very little to compare it to. I've only had one other Belgian triple before, and this had a better, or gave me a better experience than the other one that I had, which I won't name here because we're probably going to review it in the future. Thanks for watching, and cheers. <laughs>